Hmm? Hi, I'm Chris Cook, and this is Cook Like Chris with Chris Cook. That's a lot of Chris's. The cooking show you deserve, but not necessarily need. Today is a special day because I'm going to be cooking my most adult meal yet. Roast chicken and potatoes. The recipe I'm attempting today comes from Cooking LSL. Uh, it's a cooking blog that focuses on low carb and keto recipes. So I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> So without wasting any more time, let's check out what we need. So the ingredients, of course, one whole chicken, potatoes, shallots, which are not the same as red onion, olive oil, lemon and lemon zest, garlic, thyme, parsley, salt, black pepper, chicken stock, and butter. That's a lot of ingredients for me. Now that we have everything we need, let's roast a chicken, a whole chicken. So first off, we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Uh, the instructions do say to wash and dry your chicken. I'm not actually going to do that part because there's like some debate whether that's like even needed. Um, let me know what you think though. So first we're going to prepare our garlic thyme butter that's going to go onto the chicken. On a skillet over medium heat, we're going to heat up one tablespoon of olive oil. When it's heated up, we're going to add our one minced shallot along with one garlic clove that's been pressed. We're gonna cook that for two minutes. When it's done, we're going to remove it from heat, add the butter, thyme, parsley, and lemon zest. This part's weird. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I've never done this before, but using the back of a spoon, we're gonna separate the skin from the chicken, and we're going to do our best to do that without um, tearing the skin. Using your fingers, you're going to gently spread the uh, garlic butter underneath the skin and on top. You're going to then put some lemon slices, two to three shallots, and one to two garlic cloves inside the cavity of the chicken and tie it together. We're going to grease a baking dish or line it with aluminum foil. I'm going to be using my roasting pot here. To prepare the potatoes, you're going to cut and peel your potatoes into one inch cubes. Toss them in olive oil and season them with salt and pepper. We'll add thyme and parsley, shallots and garlic as well. And add all your potatoes and shallots and garlic all around as well. We're then gonna pour in your half cup of chicken stock onto the potatoes. I'm gonna roast this chicken for uh, an hour and 15 minutes at 375 degrees. So there's like seven minutes left in the main cooking bar, but this thing smells so good that I've got to take a peek. Oh yeah, look at that. There we have it. All right, so our roasted chicken and potatoes have been in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. Now I'm going to um, pull off the lid oh, oh, oh. and let it broil for three to four minutes, keeping an eye on it so it doesn't burn. Mmm, that's looking yummy. Let's see what the thermostat says. So according to the meat thermometer, it's like right on the line for being done. Uh, so I'm gonna give it like five more minutes at 375, just to make sure, but uh, with the top off to hopefully maybe brown it up a little bit more uh, around the edges. That smells amazing, but there's only one thing left to do. Let's take it out and take a look. Oh, yum, yum, yum. All right, it smells amazing. It looks amazing. I, I'm, I'm shocked with how good it looks. Uh, and that only leaves like 
the one thing left to do. Take a bite, try it out. Oh yeah, that's cooked. No risk of salmonella here. show you guys mm. all right so the chicken tastes great I'm super happy with it um, if I was to do this again I think the only thing I'd really change is probably cook maybe the first half of it with the lid on and then take the lid off sooner um, other than that it's great uh, it probably didn't need that extra five minutes I put it in for um, but I'm still super happy with it it's still very yummy um, and I can't wait to finish filming so I can have it for lunch. Thanks again for watching Cook Like Chris with Chris Cook. If you have any tips or tricks on how to maybe do my roast chicken better, uh, please leave me a comment down below. Um, well, that's it. So until next time, see you later.